ready to squander the remainder of your days? She refused to let anyone go with her. I feel like she's doing something dangerous. You have to go check on her for us. Fursman is in the mines. It seems like the boss heard some bad news about him and then just ran in there. Oh, she even took her Diggertron. Is she preparing for a fight with the vagrants? Oh, there's lots of bad guys in the mines. Miss Natasha said kids ain't allowed to go in. Go check on her for us now. He's Hook's daddy. And he's like a daddy to everyone in the moles. He's like a great person. Thank you. Uh, please hurry. and talk it out save it we treated you as our leader but look how you treated us such a rat you sold the intel about the vein to antonia but we discovered it first now we've lost the mine and we have to work for those guys traitor <sighs> well nothing to say for yourself huh so you admit that you sold the intel to the mining team go away you brute don't bully my daddy Oh, little Hook? Oh, no, no, you have it wrong. It's your daddy who bullied us first. Ask him if you don't believe me. Daddy? Yes, I told Antonia about the vein, but I was the first one to discover it. I have the right to do anything with it. <sighs> it's only because you have that detector. Let's see who's boss when we take it from you. Back off. I was thinking about the bigger picture when I did that. Unlike you all who just look for trouble every day. Well, I think someone needs to teach you a lesson. Guys, get him! You'll never lay a finger on Daddy without passing through Hook. <laughs> it's you! Come and help Hook! <sighs> Another punching bag? Fine by me. I'll kick all your butts! Do you know who I- This big diamond! It's all yours! Time to twirl! <laughs> Daddy! Are you hurt? Uh, just a few scratches. How about you, Hook? Don't worry about me. I have Diggertron. No one can hurt me. Good. That's good. And uh, you, young lady, are you hurt? <laughs> Thank you. Ah, uh, I remember. You are the outsiders Natasha mentioned before, right? I heard that you helped resolve some conflicts around the mines when you arrived. And again today, <laughs> when you saved my life. The conflicts between the vagrants and the mining team have lasted for quite a long time. Uh, even if you have just... Uh, temporarily mitigated our rather tense relationship, it is greatly appreciated. Daddy, let's go to the old witch's clinic. You're seriously hurt. But the vein detector that Rapscallion was after, somebody already stole it from me. I need to keep searching. 
Otherwise... It's just a tool. I guess I should let it go. Uh, let's head to the clinic. Looks good. to now. <sighs> I've taken care of your wounds. I'm running short on medical supplies these days, though, so behave yourselves and stay away from trouble. You hear me? Don't pretend you didn't hear that, Hook. I'm talking to you. Hook wasn't the one that caused trouble. It was those bad guys. We were just defending ourselves and ask her. See? You are gonna spoil that kid. <sighs> That's enough for now. I'll say this one last time, Hook. If you cause any trouble again, I'll take Diggertron away. Do you understand? Mm, Hook understands. The boss of the moles should stick to her word. <laughs> I have patience to take care of. See you later. Thank you again. I if it weren't for you and Dr. Natasha, Hook and I probably would have been in big trouble. Well, a few days ago, I found a geomarrow vein using a vein detector, and I sold this info to Antonia, a, a supervisor of the mining team. Then, those vagrants heard about it and accused me of being a traitor. They believe that since I'm also a vagrant who came from another mine and ended up in here for a living, I should naturally be on their side. The mining team could not agree with that, of course. <sighs> I'm just too old for this. Daddy? Are we short on money? Why did you do that? My poor child. Daddy is old now. <sighs> Who knows how long I can stay by your side. I have to start preparing for your future. People say I'm selfish, think I'm a traitor, but it doesn't matter to me. All you need to know is when I'm gone, you will have the money to take care of yourself and survive on your own. Daddy... Forget about it. Since I've got the money from the mining team, I have nothing to complain about now. It's just a shame that I lost my vein detector. It was indeed a treasure. I guess so. It's an ancient relic that can detect geomarrow veins. It's very rare. I haven't seen a second one in my life. I often carried it around looking for a new claim. I suppose some villains must have taken notice. Well, anyway, I guess I don't need the detector anymore. The less trouble, the better. I shouldn't care who stole my device. <laughs> Whoever it was, I hope they get good use out of it. Hook seems to be giving me a look that says, Hook wants to talk to you outside the clinic now. So that's why people call eyes the windows to the soul. Two 
slow, honorary member of the moles. <laughs> you should have gotten here before a hook. Let me introduce you to Sweta. She is Daddy's most trusted miner. Uh, not at all. Mr. Fursman trusts every vagrant, and every one of us trusts Mr. Fursman. But after what happened over at that Geomero vein, the atmosphere at the shelter became a bit tense. I'm here to find Daddy's treasure, his vein detector. I heard that someone stole it. Is that true? Well, I would guess that's probably true. After the conflict in the mine, Wildfire gathered everyone out of the shelter and took a head count to check on the wounded. Four people were not there. When we returned to the shelter, Mr. Fursman's detector was gone. We searched all around the shelter, but found nothing. I guess one of those four people was the thief. Yes. The shelter was usually crowded, so thieves would have had a hard time stealing things when everyone was around. We vagrants have our dignity, too. I'm sure we will catch the thief, but... But... Actually, we've already asked those four suspects about it. They all claim to not have stolen anything. Of course, we could never expect thieves to confess and turn themselves in, right? In my opinion, one of those four was lying. <sighs> I agree. All four suspects are at the shelter. If you're feeling confident, why not give it a try? Maybe you can determine who the thief is. Uh, adults are so dishonest. Hook's gonna question them one by one. Did you steal Daddy's detector? Nope. I'm no thief. Really? Then you better answer our questions honestly. Ask away. Let's not waste time. Nope. What detector? Hey, would you mind talking more nicely? What? I always talk like this. I don't feel like she's the thief. I know! Hmm? Hook? What's the matter? Did you steal Daddy's detector? What? Oh, if I'd known I would become a suspect, I wouldn't have gone out at that time. How foolish of me. We just need you to answer a few questions. Okay. Mask away. It would be good to clear myself of suspicion. Detector? No, I haven't seen anything, and I don't know anything. Is that all the questions you have? Have I proven my innocence? Oh dear, all this waiting around is enough to make me even more anxious. Did you steal Daddy's detector? What? How could you say that? You're gonna make me angry. You know what a businessman values the most? Reputation. If your slander ruins my reputation and harms my business, you'll pay for that. Well, then answer our questions. We'll decide if we believe you or not. No comment. Oh, you would... <sighs> I'll give you one more chance. Think carefully and give your answer to Diggertron this time. You little brat. Grow a couple of feet taller before you think about threatening me. <sighs> Here, how about we make a deal? I'll tell you what I know in exchange for a small intel service fee. Fair and honest. Great. I like your style. Customers who don't fuss over the price are the best. So what do you want to know? Ask away. Look, the cook is definitely the thief. I'm sure about that. I value my reputation more than anything, so you can trust me. In my line of work, I've learned to read people. And something's definitely fishy with that cook. I could tell from the start. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone. Well, well, well. What's this? Playing detective, are we? Spill it! Did you steal my daddy's detector? You little brat. How dare you label me a thief? Someone needs to give you a good lesson on manners. I'm an honest and decent man. I'd never do such a shady thing. <laughs> Anyone can say that. If you really didn't steal anything, then just answer our question. Oh, you have a temper, huh? All right, I'll spare a couple minutes for your little detective game. 
Well, I don't want to be a snitch, but out of my respect for Fursman, I'll tell you a secret. The helper over there? I saw him sneak into Fursman's tent and come out holding a box. See? Isn't he the most suspicious one? <laughs> I don't care if you believe me or not. I've told you all I know. Now leave me alone if you don't have any more questions. I'm busy. Uh, Hook's head is spinning. Do you remember everything they said? Don't worry, I've written it all down for you. Remember, among these four people, only the real thief would lie. <sighs> the cook said the helper did it. The tailor said it wasn't her. The merchant said it was the cook, and the helper said it wasn't him. So, do you know who the culprit is? Hmm. I don't know why, but I'll trust your judgment. Come on, let's go accuse the culprit. Huh? Where's the cook? Where did he go? <laughs> Pete's me. I saw him running out in quite a panic. Ah, that guy has to be guilty! Where is he running off to? Oh, yeah. I saw Mr. Sampo on the way to the mine when I came here. Could he be involved in this? Follow Hook! Mr. Sampo should be that away! Mr. Sampo's always at the clinic hanging around Miss Natasha. I thought he was really sick or something. He's working with the thief. And he's also a bad guy! My friend, are you serious? This device is quite rare. Are you really willing to sell it to me at such a low price? No, no, why are you making this so complicated? Do you want it or not? Just tell me. You two stop right there. Pitch Dark Hook the Great has arrived. Just doing a little business. What's all the fuss? Oh, boy. I knew it was too good to be true. I, I gotta make this clear. I have nothing to do with this fella. You have to trust me. Miss Hook, please, don't point that thing at me. It's scary. Hey, how can you sell me out like that? We had a deal. You, you stole Daddy's treasure. Diggertron will not spare you. This, this is all that old Fursman's fault. Just because he has this device I'm holding, he can make a fortune. It's not fair! Um, well, it seems you guys have some issues to sort out, so maybe I should leave. What, what, what kind of a reason are you looking for? W with the underworld in such a sad state, how are we supposed to survive if we don't resort to robbing and stealing? <laughs> anyway, I got the device now. Come take it, if you have the guts. Diggertron, get ready. Your answers? Just. Time to twirl! Uh. Huh. Time for a shot, nap time. Talk tough for someone who can't fight. Come on, hand the detector over to Hook. Hmm. Oh, Daddy's treasure! It's broken! What? Hey! Now this is Sampo's time to shine. Of course! I wouldn't want to miss out on seeing you and Miss Hook's acts of heroism, would I? Listen here. 
There's a fellow in Boulder Town they call Balloway the Miner's Lamp. He's an appraiser. Although he claims that he doesn't do appraisals anymore for ancient relics, he actually still does a bit behind the scenes for ones that are of especially high value. I think this device of yours is probably worth a lot. It might be a good idea to try your luck with Balloway. Here's a trick. First, pretend that you want to sell it for a low price, then wait for him to excitedly fix the device for you. After it's fixed, tell him you changed your mind and you want to keep it for yourself. This business tactic is what I call a bait and switch. Pretty clever, huh? Halloween the Miner Slam. Got it. Thanks, Mr. Sampo. Let's go into town to find him. Have a safe trip. It's getting late. Where to now? I'm already retired from appraising ancient relics, so unless this detector is some kind of precious treasure... Look at this! The detector's probe broke off. Can you fix it? Hmm. Oh, ho, ho. This certainly is a rare relic. Let me take a closer look. Uh, yes! Look extra close. You have to help Hook fix it. This device... I've been in the business for a long time, but never have I seen an ancient relic like this one before. I think this is probably beyond repair. But still, it is a rare treasure. Even broken, I'd be willing to pay a high price for it. What do you say? The detector's probe is gone. It's like searching for something without eyes or ears. Now, it's nothing more than a pile of junk with no practical value. I'm willing to offer a generous price for this thing, so do you want to sell it or not? Mm. Hmm. All right, then. Let's go find Daddy. been hook i was just about to go looking for you come on let's go home i'll cook some salt baked rock crabs for you <sighs> what's wrong with this kid why what happened big sister and hook helped daddy catch the thief that stole it but daddy's detector is broken it's all my fault if only i could have found it sooner so it was stolen uh, uh, you're not hurt, are you, Hook? I'm fine. Um, Daddy, can you see if your detector still works? Mm. The Geo Marrow probe is damaged. I'm afraid this thing won't work anymore. <sighs> I'm sorry, Daddy. I didn't help one bit. What are you apologizing for? <laughs> Thank you so much for looking out for me, Hook. But... <laughs> Don't cry, Hawk. Daddy's true treasure has been here all along. It was never lost or broken. Uh, uh, even you know what it is? The detector helped me find lots of Geomarrow veins, and it saved the mining team a lot of money. In that respect, it was a very good thing. But at the end of the day, the detector is... Just a tool. A true treasure must have irreplaceable importance to someone. Hook doesn't really understand. <laughs> it's okay. I'm 
is saying some things that might seem strange, but you will understand someday. So, the treasure daddy's talking about... ...is still happily running and jumping around. You... you're not allowed to see her cry! Go away! Every year at this time, we exchange gifts and celebrate our birthday together. Yeah? What's the problem? Daddy's job has been more difficult since moving to Boulder Town. He gets home really late every day. I don't want to use his hard-earned money to buy a gift. Uh, <laughs> hey! Are you patronizing me? Actually, I still have some valuable treasure of my own in Rivet Town. <laughs> it's a shame I left it there. If I go bring it back and sell it for a decent price, I can buy a gift for Daddy without begging anyone for money. I know that Rivet Town is super dangerous right now. That's why I'd like to enlist you as my bodyguard. That way, even if the old witch finds out later, I won't be the only one getting a scolding. <laughs> Then it's settling! Let's meet in Rivet Town. I'll be waiting for you in a safe spot. You're not allowed to not come. So long. Hook's been waiting here for ages. Well, it wasn't actually that long. As long as you're here now, it's fine. I got some good news and some bad news. Which do you want to hear first? I told the rest of the moles about the plan, and Julian asked me to get some treasure for him. If we don't help him, he'll tell the old witch where we've gone. The good news is that he's willing to contribute to our adventure. Look, he gave me this gardening shovel. Julian has been a huge help to me. Consider this returning a favor. Well, the treasure won't grow legs and find us, will it? Come on, let's go. Julian's adoptive parents used to own a business in this area. When we were all forced to leave the town, there were lots of things they didn't have time to take with. Ah, we found Julian's treasure! <laughs> no, not the key! These glass marbles! Oh, look at all the different colors. But it wasn't easy collecting all these. What? <laughs> you don't know? <gasps> have you never played marbles before? Oh, by the way, what is this key open? Oh, maybe Julian knows. What's that look on your face? Oh, I get it. You don't think this jar of glass marbles is worth anything, right? Let me tell you something. This jar of marbles means a lot to the moles. Julian used it to help the moles overcome a super huge crisis for which he was promoted to second in command. Of course it wasn't that, but his accomplishments are nothing to be scoffed at. In the past, the kids in town were arch-rivals to us at the orphanage. Those kids used to bully us, relying on the pocket money that their parents gave them. One time, they sent us a formal declaration of war, challenging the moles to a marbles competition. We were all well aware that we didn't stand a chance. 
Only the orphanage only had some old glass marbles we scavenged from the side of the road. Which are no match for those rich kids' marbles. Nonetheless, Julian bravely accepted the challenge. And triumphantly returned with a pile of colorful glass marbles he won. <laughs> it was incredible. Yep. So, now you know why you wanted us to find this treasure. All right, enough chit-chat. Next, we need to find my treasure. Time to get to work. Hook's treasure is hidden below the orphanage near the mine's entrance. This doesn't feel like the rivet town I remember. Do you think the orphanage is like this now, too? This place is nothing like it was before I left. Boxes and minecarts are all over the street. Oh, what a mess. Oh, did someone move my treasure, too? I used to keep it in the mining team's junk pile. Behind the corner, there were heaps of geomero and boxes. Oh, hopefully it hasn't been taken. Well, that's all I can recall. But don't worry, I'll look with you. <laughs> I may even find it before you. Oh, uh, look! It's in this box! This miniature drill rig was given to me by a guy from Daddy's mining team as a birthday present. <laughs> I'm going to turn it on. Huh? Oh, just, just don't talk to me right now. I need to calm down. I said don't talk to me right now. I need time to think. Honorary member, um, I wonder, how much do you think Julian's glass marbles would sell for? <laughs> what? Did you think I was serious? I wasn't actually planning on selling these marbles. <laughs> Besides, they aren't even worth much. That might work. But it'll be pretty expensive to fix, right? Not possible. Daddy said that guy went missing one day and he never saw him again. Maybe he went someplace far away. I have no idea when he'll come back, so that definitely won't work. Oh, wait a second! I hid another treasure at the orphanage! I don't want to sell it, but if I want to buy Daddy a gift, I don't have any other choice. Honorary member, please, please help me look for it. Just one more... Yay! Let's go! Why are there so many monsters here? We need to deal with them first. For the theater of the mediocre. Test. Time to twirl. I'm okay. Do you know who I This big diamond! It's all yours! Lance the blaze! Lance forward! Time to twirl! Wait! Let me take a look at my notes. I marked the location where I stashed the treasure. It's a reward from the old witch. <laughs> You'll know what it is after I dig it up. Go down the stairs on the left, then walk 10 paces forward. Turn right, walk another 15 paces, spin around 10 times, then keep walking forward. <laughs> oh no! I'm doomed! The second half of my notes are completely ruined! Oh, what kind of lame treasure map would it be if it only had one or two steps? Without the second half of my notes, how will I ever find the treasure? Uh... Oh, really? Quick, let me see. Let's use the home use object finder to help Hook search. Beep, beep, beep! Finding the home use object finder at your service. Please say the target object you want to search for. Oh, wow! <laughs> this little thing! What's this? Oh, looks like something is written on it. 
for Julian 50 years in the future. Whatever. Since we've already dug it up, let's open it. I guess you're right. We should wait 50 years before opening it. Let's take it back to Julian along with the glass marbles. Oh, here it is! My teddy bear! The old witch gave it to me as a gift. Yes! He's called Junjun. Whoa, Junjun. How did you get covered in dirt? And why do you have so many loose threads? If we don't get you cleaned up, no one will buy you. The old witch said that Junjun isn't just any old teddy bear. He'll be worth a lot of money once he's cleaned up. <sighs> There's no other way. I haven't learned to sew yet. I'll have to ask the old witch for help. If she finds out I went somewhere I shouldn't have gone. Hook will get lectured all over again. What? So what if the old witch yells at me? Hook still has to prepare the gift for daddy. We found the treasure. Let's split. The monsters here give Hook goosebumps. Ooh, too scary. I'm warning you. Don't you dare tell the old witch about Hook's plan to sell the treasure. It's getting late. Where to now? Hook? What are you... <clears throat> Natasha? Um, Junjun's in bad shape. Can you help me fix him? I remember giving you Junjun. <laughs> I haven't seen this fella in years. Where did you find him? The... The wind brought him back to me. Be honest with me, Hook. Um, uh, big sister helped me find him in the Rivet Town Orphanage. You had her take you to the Fragmentum just for this teddy bear? Hook, how many times have I told you? Natasha, please. Please help me fix Jun Jun. I'll clean the clinic for you for a whole month. <sighs> you say that every time, and then... Uh, great, see you soon. Uh, big sister, I'll leave Jun Jun with you. What am I going to do with that girl? You shouldn't indulge her, outsider. Uh, uh I know it's difficult to tell Hook no, but sometimes it just has to be done. Hmm. <sighs> Jun Jun. So she gave her bear a name, huh? I've lost count of all the dolls I've made. To be honest, I wasn't expecting her to like this one so much. It was an award I used to give the kids in Rivet Town for good behavior. <sighs> Can you imagine what an orphanage is like with so many difficult children? I, mean, I had to come up with a solution to get them to behave. Hook pretended to be well-behaved for a month in order to get Jun Jun. She ate on time, slept on time, even stopped fighting with the other kids. Of course, as soon as she got her award, she went straight back to her old self. <laughs> Hook has an uncanny ability to rally people to her cause, both adults and children. It's a skill, all right. And forcing her to be well-behaved puts a lid on it. Well, this teddy bear has sure been through the wars. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll help Hook repair Jun Jun. But I'll need to find some stuffing. W wait, look at the eyes. They must be... Erebus? Huh. Strange, I didn't notice when I sewed them on. I'm no appraiser, but these two gems look to be high quality. Well, our war-torn bear here just became a priceless doll. Not bad, Jun Jun. Did the old witch yell at you? Ah, but you were only there to help Hook. I'm sorry, honorary member. <sighs> Never mind that. You didn't tell her what I was really up to, did you? Great. Your loyalty as an honorary member of the moles is acknowledged. Well, anyway, why are you still standing here, silly? Do you have something to report to the boss of the moles? G gems? <gasps> Does that mean he's worth a lot of money? 
Well, of course I'll sell him. If the gems are expensive, who can buy a better birthday gift for Daddy? Anyhow, this is super useful intel. If you've been with the moles a bit longer, I'd be promoting you to third in command right now. I'll need your help again after Natasha fixes Jun Jun. Always be prepared to answer the call of Pitch Dark Hook the Great. Snow White Popping Candy. For the theater of the mediocre. For the theater of the mediocre. Wander the remainder of your days. <laughs> Snow White. Reservation. Measure of truth and falsehood. Time to twirl. Freedom. Time to twirl. Zero points. What are you looking at?
Reach the end of the story in your own way. So that's how it works. No match for me. Reservation. Okay, can take it.
It's getting late. Where to now? Hmm. Where can I get some? Getting late. Where to now? <laughs> 